Uh, I am not really on a new schedule for streaming. It's just uh, it's kind of sporadic for now since I'm not at I'm not at home where I usually live. So and also I have a tournament today during my normal stream time. We could high roll Barnes here, but we're we're already mulliganing for quite a bit of cards. We usually mulligan for five cards, two Doomsayers, two Grim Street Outfitters, and a Smuggler's Run. So keeping Barnes might be a little greedy here. Our deck is not like super built around it. Let's just keep it. I think it's half and half. I feel like it, I, I feel like it might be a mistake though, because uh, let's see, we have like the two Enforcers, kind of like Embers, really good Barnes targets. Sylvanas, really good. And the Tyrians. But ultimately, that might be not enough reason to try to high roll Barnes. It might be better to go for Smugglers, Run Equality, Doomsayer, Grim Street Outfitter. I'm not going to abuse my power here. Slow matchup, and uh, a 2-4 is likely here. Oh, okay, good. If, it, if it's good, that's cool. Okay, uh, I'm using I'm using a not a headset mic. I tried a headset mic last, last night. I think it's the problem is my, my computer, like... I think you're supposed to plug in the headset mic in the front of my computer, but I built my own computer and it's not really connected right. So I have to plug it in the back and it just ends up bad if I connect it to the back. He plays a 3-6 taunt next turn sometimes. Might actually be better to play Grim Street Outfitter as weird as that looks. Because it's more of a tempo play than uh, Acolyte of Pain here. Also it, sh it shoots my burns into a 4 attack minion. 4-5, really good against Priest, because I think too often he plays Twilight Guardian here um, and stops my Acolyte from like, kind of farming his Nether Spite anyways, because he has a coin left over. Tonight, a terrible, terrible uh, Despairhawk, thanks for the sub, welcome to the Strife Crew. Here is a Crow Fist. The tournament will be streamed on One Nation of Gamers, Twitch TV slash One Nation of Gamers. It's not anytime soon. I think I have like five hours or six hours until the Skype tournament. I might even stream till then, or I might stream for like four hours and get lunch and then play the tournament. We'll see how I feel. I, I just woke up. It's uh, 7 a.m., 8 a.m. where I live right now. Operative. He has a quite a slow opening. I wonder if he's playing Reno. I can't protect my Outfitter. Actually, I technically could try. I, I don't think it's worth it. If I play the Enforcer double trade here, uh, he's still on 5 mana. So he can play Corruptor. If, maybe if I could kill everything, like one more power on board, I could just try that. But I might just take the value trade and play the Enforcer anyways. I don't think it's worth it to hold off on it. We're, we're kind of one turn away from Dragonfire Potion still. <clears throat> he did use his coin. Boryberg, thanks for the resub. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Strife Crew. I'm also back to streaming. Here's the Crow Fist. What matchups is this deck favored in? It's kind of like a new experimental deck for now. Get to see the matchups as we play more. That's some cool stuff. I was wanting I wanted to use Don Honcho, but I just thought that it was too bad to use. Uh my early tests with him did really poorly. I'm Geppy, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Here's the Crow Fist. So we have a full board clear anytime we want. How big is this guy? 3-5. Still in shower pain range. Oh well, that's unfortunate. Uh, it costs too much mana. Like it's something to do with we can try to save Acolyte with Pyro Consecrate, but that's literally nine mana. So I think we have to just try to you know, hope it survives a turn. I don't think we can dodge Shower Pain. Like we don't have anything to do. Let the pain speak to me. Reporting for duty. On with the show. <laughs> Maybe I could have got behind something like Pyromancer Hero Power, and then if the Pyrus arrives, I can play Acolyte plus Consecrate? If that makes sense. Accidents. They happen, you know? 
At this point, it's not worth it to Pyro in quality. It's a 6-5. I kind of I kind of wish I played the other play like Pyromancer Hero Power instead, especially top decking this outfitter would have had a four six acolyte. We'll continue playing for board because we have no burst and we have no Zoth. But uh, as far as uh, we lost so many cards potentially and we're not really doing great on death rattles. I feel like only our Infestatorin has died so far. Did we even get it? I think we got a first turn from Barnes, is from what I remember. How was Seed Story? Seed Story was fun. It was a fun tournament. I didn't do good. I practiced so much for it, actually. Um, I just got crushed, though. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's playing Reno Jackson with uh, his Miss Curve and now it's cards like this. So I guess we just take the slow, try to win through Nazoth. Okay, still have some potential here. It could, uh, well, he's first of all, he's already used his bookworm. He could have a shower pain though. Let me just think if I want to consecrate here. I think I do want to consecrate. I wonder. Get that cycle going here. Consecrate kills this. I still need attack here. Consecrate is three, four, five. So, um, I guess it's like this. The battle speak to me. Cycle the consecrate. Let's see what you get. Another death rattle is a good pickup. Just basically try and get as many death rattles as I can. Ooh, interesting. I can hear power, Grim Street Protector, get quite a lot of value. Let's think. This is not a dragon for Dragonfire Potion, so it will kill itself. I'm trying to think if we like trade. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense because I have a 7 7, a 6 6 against 5 5. So I think I'm just going to hero power, Grim Street, both face. Keep the Divine Shields activated. Kind of unfortunate we lost board control right before picking that card up. Like, say this is still 6 5 or we had a better board. Uh, this card's so good at like pushing in trades, but because I only had a 3-2, wasn't that good at pushing in trades. Who are the teammates for you in Frozen? Uh, my teammates are Andrew and um, Rain. I don't know who Frozen's teammates are. They're coaching students. Do you think Jade and Pirates has destroyed this meta season? Or is it needed to have more facility? I I'll definitely don't think... Jade has destroyed anything. It's not really that strong. Um, Pirates is kind of iffy, but overall, I'm okay with it. See, he hasn't used Death Anon to him yet. But I have uh, Nazoth coming up too. Uh, he farms our Torrin. At least the two. Okay, let's just play Torrin here. Good. Eh, Ragnaros is decent too. I, I just feel like it's Death too much. But I could bait out death. It's just, I think it's okay to bait out death, but hmm. main thing is I want to play another death rattle. I'm not really even ready to Nazoth, even if I play a second Torn though. I might want Savannah Centurion first, one or the other, or a third Torn. So I'm just basically trying to buy time right now for uh, Pyro Equality. I'm trying to just think my turn through. Okay, that makes sense. So that way, I, so going by that thought process, actually I should catch this in. Going by that thought process, um, I should save Rag to get a heal, because eventually I can power equality when the board gets too bad, I can Ragnaros heal myself for 8, so which will allow me to uh, draw into Tyrion and Solanus more. Whereas if I just Rag here for tempo, I'm not really getting any healing off. Oh jeez. He actually is going to play two Kazakhs this game. Especially if he plays like polymorph effects, that's so scary. Because that stops uh death rattle. You wish to live forever. I need to try to make Tyrion not my only minion on board. There's five mana polymorph potion. There's also ten mana polymorph all minions. Oh, he could just save the after Nazoth, huh? Wow. 
If we power quality here, we're like... No, 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 sorry. If we... Well, power mm -hmm. mets consecrate. I think we have to do it, but this means we have no more activators. So I guess our goal here is to use 114 control for activators. But yeah, not, not my main problem is I have no more... I have two equalities left. My, I have another equality left, but I have no more consecrates and no more power mancers, which is weird. But if I used any equality play, I would clear my own board, which uh, I think is kind of valuable too. So let's say I have power equality and keep the consecrate. That doesn't seem better either. At least my whole board. And also, equality is still good with 1 1s. <clears throat> is Reno Mage viable in current meta? I think it's definitely viable. A lot of meta reports are even saying it's like a sleeper deck right now. It's hard to play, very hard to play, and uh, inconsistent. It's more inconsistent than Warlock. I think it runs stronger than Warlock, though. Like, the nut. Reno Mage Droll is stronger than the Nut Reno Warlock Droll, I feel, and it can beat, like, all the matchups, I guess, but it's, it doesn't have Life Tap, so... I guess it tells another potion. Looks like this one was the one you just picked up. If that's, like, any kind of read, I think we'd probably use our equality here while we still have, a, like, as, as I just said last time, we have no more activators, so no, this is like the only way we can actually activate it while our power is still up and while we still have some win ones. <laughs> well, I hope that our fight promoter gets activated. I think this is going to die. We might just have to unsolve next turn now that our equality is gone. We have no, no more way to clear the board. Is someone injured? So, uh, you know, what that means is I can't afford to slow down anymore. Accidents. They happen, you know? Have you tried any Cthulhu deck season? The goons. No, I haven't. Does that even make sense? Goon Cthulhu? <laughs> Goon Thune? It fit buffs Cthulhu by one, technically. But it's just too weak. I get one more torn, but it's just I'm wasting my turn. Pretty much just wasting my turn. It looks like he uses death here and he kind of hesitated and draw. Basically, right now I need to activate my fight for promoter, and his auth is a way to do that. But I need to stagger it over two turns. I can't combo it. So I just hope that he doesn't. I mean, he doesn't have another death, but he could have been tomb. Like, let's see if I can get a read. One mana, two mana, four mana. And he's. Flooded? He, I don't know. I think I'd do it anyways. I wonder if he would have entombed instead of death my Ragnaros Light Lord. Probably not, huh? Because I have Tyrion to entomb. So I guess I shouldn't even think about that as a read. I guess it doesn't change the fact that I'm just going to be further and further behind if I play the Torn. Because I'm giving him more time to draw. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Nice. I, I kept my. Oh no! It, oh no! I'm so sad. Actually, I just realized it's it's not max health. It's current health. It's too low now. He's setting up for Dragonfire Potion. I'm sad. Okay, I'm just gonna not commit too much to Dragonfire Potion. Maybe I even just hold back on the Torn because I'm really thin on value right now. Like this is a really tight game as far as value goes. We're both almost out of stuff. So even like losing the half of it might be bad. Hmm. Yeah, Strike Fury, my fave dude from Twitch. Thank you. Let's try to get some dude control. When he plays one more minion, then we can play Solanus. Get some tension. But also, like, setting up some dude control, this taunting this, and having a 2-2 two -two and a 1-1 one -one sets up for my quality. Uh, I have stuff to Doomsayers. I could play Doomsayer Fight Promoter, as weird as that looks. Maybe it's okay. Uh, I also have like Tyrion and Grim Street Enforcer. So if I get another Enforcer, buff it two times, or buff Solanus and 6 6 that survives, there's some other ways to activate it. I'm not going to worry about pressuring his health too much because he has Reno left. 
Okay, I'm glad I have this equality. It's risky, huh? Should we, how yellow are we? Like, we can equality clear, it's so clean. We can also, we can also Solanus and try to go super greedy. Uh, I wish we drew this earlier. We could have healed and played Fright Parade. Oh, no, that's not true. We have to spend all our mana on Forbidden Healing. Okay, hmm. Dream, we just lose if we play Solanus. Mm. And Tomb, we kind of lose too. But he didn't have Entomb two turns ago. I'm assuming he would have Entombed Nazoth. So with 20% of time, he'd probably lose. Actually, if it gets Dream, we have another try. Because that means he didn't get like another card, and it's a slow matchup. And I get to make another 1-1. One, one. If he goes face... Hmm. I think it's too risky. Oh, okay. <laughs> Two Ysaris? How did that happen? Oh, he's that's his normal Ysaris. The first one was created by Nether Spite. Um, would I rather get Tyrion Entombed or Sylvanas? At this point, I think it might even be Tyrion. Because either way, Tyrion can test. Although, Tyrion doesn't have the upside where if he doesn't have something, like it doesn't actually beat Sylvanas either. It kind of does over two turns. I'm going to play Tyrion first. I think I like it a little bit more. Put your faith in the light. I'm threatening lethal. If it gets entombed, I feel like it might be better. Play Solanus into this after. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. Silence. Dream. Oh no. I think we have to play two, just so we can play two cards. Not exactly sure which one of Peacekeeper, though. If I play Sylvanas, he's gonna... If he doesn't have anything, he might try to trade you, Sarah. Hope that I steal his uh, Just Car. I think this is the best, actually. I have no time for games. Right? This way he can't do that play. He can't kill Sylvanas with his Ysera and hope I steal Just the Car. The battle. The if I steal a 113 Savas, I'm still happy about it. Or if I steal a 113 Ysera, I'm still happy. Let's see how this goes, but probably all downhill downhill from here. Fight promoter seems kinda risky if it doesn't pull his card draw. Yeah, it's uh it's been hard this game. Cause I, my card draw got wrecked. I think I made a major misplay on my Acolyte of Pain early game. Like it kinda snowballs off itself, right? If I get more card draw, it's easier to set up the fight, fight promoter. But my three five Acolyte of Pain got showered pained. So at that point it kind of ended up where uh, really hard. I'm pretty sure I'm out of value to kill him. Seven cards for six, but it's just as you say I was getting so much value. The yellow, this actually, we should for justice. trade off here first in case he has another dragon. The end is coming. Hey, you need tickets. I'd probably die here, but I think I need to take the risk. Like, I, I, I never win by just waiting and letting you Sarah take over the game, so. Um, I'm assuming I'm listening to Diary of Sarah card. Well played. Who's that? 
Cavalier! Watch your back. I will fight with honor. So, I want the coin means I don't, don't deal a coin to Impillager against Acolyte. I'm not really sure about this because now Rogue is like more of an aggro deck with the Buccaneers, which is weird because it's, it's very hard to mulligan both for the Buccaneers and their Miracle stuff. My intu intuition is just not to mulligan for Buccaneers and go for True Silver and Waste the Pressure Miracle. It's always been bad when I mulligan for Buccaneers, the Buccaneer opening. And Doomsayer can still die to Buccaneer. It's a 3-2, a 1-1. One, one. That's 4. With Dagger, it's 5 and Backstab. So Buccaneer patches. So Buccaneer pulling patches and then da uh, Backstab kills Doomsayer. Start developing Acolytes. It's pretty close between just here powering Acolyte and Torin, but uh, I think I get both Acolytes up before Tim Pilger at least. It's still kind of weird because I don't really have a way to super snowball that. Like I can, but I have Torin, so I could I can play Acolyte, Acolyte, Torin into Tim Pilger. Then maybe the Torin tanks to Tim Pilger. We can find some ways to snowball the Acolytes. I don't know if I should be powering like counterfeit coin Tim Pilger. That seems just too iffy to play around. Why this over any fin? Uh, it's just, just different. I want I want to play with Grim Street Enforcer. Actually, it's mostly it. Oh, this card's crazy good, and this kind of mid, mid range list. Have you switched to playing in the morning? No, it's a. Uh, it's because I have a tournament when I normally stream today. Pretty scary to leave up Azure Drake and Consecrate trade in. That stops him from ever playing Fan and Isis cycle, but ultimately the problem is most of his minions are 5 and 4 attack. Doesn't really stop Concealed Gadget either. I get if I play um trade here and just play Enforcer. That way I can save the Consecrate for equality top deck. I think I like this better, actually. I get punished by, like, a second Drake or Blood Mage and Phantom Knives. Like, I also feed him a coin. Like, say I just Consecrate it and trade it in. I'm just too scared of Gadget Coin Conceal, because I'm basically killing Team Pillager anyway, so I give him a coin. It's, like, just perfect for that line. Oh my god, that is a good roll. That is so sick. <laughs> now I have all these cards. What do you think about Draxus and Reno? It, it will, is it good to take out Drax and Reno? I didn't like it, but a lot of people do. Uh, it's if you have Reno, if you have Drax in your Reno lock, you can play really inefficiently. Like you don't have to save stuff. It allows you to play a little differently. Uh, it depends on the meta game. Like it's not that good against Rogue. It's really against Priest. Not that good in the mirror if they run combo, but it's still playable. If I play both. Grimstree Outfitters, I buff my Fight Promoter to enough health. I just need the tempo. If my Doomsayer goes off here, I, I'm in good shape. So uh, I'm just trying to think which order this Outfitter first. 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 or 1-1-3-3. One, one, three, three. Fan and Knives. I think I want to play around Fan and Knives. Let's go ahead and do this. Accidents. They happen. Accidents. They happen. Oh, 
Because I'm scared if I have 2 2 2 2 3 10 fan, and then like he can trade and just kill the Doomsayer somehow. So it's definitely not letting Doomsayer go. I have a quality consecrate though. Good for me, he uses his conceal. I'm just gonna call it Consecrate Doomsayer. Kind of a perfect turn for me. This is all from the Acolytes. Like, the fact that I drew so many cards with more answers now. Still scary though. Okay, so what does he have left? He still has one more Pulled Blood, one more Eviscerate, one more Sap. Van Cleef, Questing Adventure. Van Cleef's pretty scary. I do have another equality. Oh wow, just buffing this card here. I don't really know what it is, huh? These could, other cards could be minions, could be random. Well, a lot of stuff, I, I, I think I need to get an equality or Peacekeeper soon. If I can pressure him with the big Nizoth. I, I feel like we haven't really played any Death Rattles. Try starting from here. 6-6-1-1, six, six, one, one, draw two cards, or I think this is turn is stronger, two minions. Wonder. What about Barnes and Enforcer? I think I like playing Barnes. Let's play Barnes first. Because we can get Tyrion and stuff. Tonight, a terrible, terrible Hope it's not Doomsayer. Oh, oh. Move quickly. I think we play off curve. It's like ultimately, I don't think we need any more buffs. Like these guards are big enough, but it's really nice if I can get like Tyrion here, so I can set Furnace off or Solanus. Give me a quest. Thank you. How did the patron deck end up doing? It ended up like two. Too much like a sniper deck. I think we just have to yellow and draw here. Ragnaros, the problem with Ragnaros is I think we still have to trade for Tomb Pillager. Or for the Questing Adventure, and uh, I might heal this guy. Then he saps and kills us. What are we drawing for? We're drawing for um, equality. Two outs. No, no, I have more outs. I have Peacekeepers too. Hey, you need to get some. If I heal here for two, I'd start pressuring him a little bit. But also, I'd play around Sap Leroy. But I'm, I'm, I'm in bad shape right now. That's <laughs> Don Honcho, the guy beating me down. Oh, I traded. He's scared. That would kill him with the truce over in this guy. Makes home. sense. Rexall, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Here is a Kurfist. Alright, still have equality draw here. Forbidden healing. 13, 14, 15. He has 17 damage. And one potential sap. I feel like I have two um, Infested Torrens, which is pretty good, I think. It's also at 810. I like it more than Light Lord just because Saps Light Lord hits me. I'm not really getting anywhere. I'm taking. I'm healing for 8, but I'm taking more than 8, and that to do the same move next turn. Whereas, I think the Taunts might be good. Let me think. Taunts out stuff for Lethal. Which is, I'm still. I still die to Leroy. I should just go face. That way I don't die to Leroy. 
I'll be at 17 if I don't go face, so Leroy kills me. He might have to take this trade, which is probably good for me. Since if he trades here, trades here, goes face, I have 882222, so I kill him. At least that's not with uh, spell power, so it doesn't change the fact that he still has a trade. Unless he has another sap. If he saps this, I'm just going to get four in tor torrents when I replay it, right? <laughs> so I, I feel like he actually can't sap the Nazoth. What does he have left? One Gadgetan, Van Cleef, and Leroy. Actually, um, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't have Leroy in his deck. Some people, when they run qu double questing, know Leroy is standard. I think we win. He's out of stuff. We just controlled him. He has one more sap. So I'm thinking if it's better to play uh, something like Pyromancer's Protector here and just uh, take the value trade. Mm. That way we have more minions left over. Whereas this guy, we heal for eight, but uh, we, have, we don't have minions left over. And it gets sapped anyways. What about a power, power for mid healing move? I don't think that's even relevant. The spell power is not really that important anymore. He has no more spells. Move quickly. What I'm worried here is that I don't have any quality activator. I guess his main win condition is Van Cleef for now. I got the best deal anywhere. Like he basically has used literally all his spells. Eviscerates fans. Every every spell is affected by spell power. I'm out of cards. Just like preps and stuff and coins, but it's not really irrelevant to leave that bullet mage. The Brotherhood shall come Take for two, one off lethal. Oh! <laughs> That's a good one. That actually kills him because I kill his blood mage too. 